Well, hello. I said I would give you the 6 p.m. news update, so I'm going to bring that up for you real quick. And I just wanted to add that to my updates for Dylan Rounds. And that will be it for tonight on the Dylan Rounds case. Um, i just like to give brief updates on his case and not really get into all the nitty-gritty stuff. But um, just giving you the updates, and that's all. Hyundai Tucson Missing Dylan Rounds. Utah deputies named Look squatter like neighbor as suspect in disappearance of 19-year-old farmer. Dylan Rounds last spoke with family on May. May 28th. Utah you know, authorities have named a suspect in the unsolved disappearance of 19-year-old farmer Dylan Rounds, who was last heard from on May 28th when he told his grandmother he needed to get his grain truck out of the rain. James Brenner, 58, is being held at the Weber County Jail on federal firearms charges, according to authorities. Candace Cooley, Rounds' mother, told Fox News Digital on Thursday that the newly named suspect is an acquaintance of her son. I'm keeping it together as best I can, she said. Brenner is described in court documents as a neighbor and family friend of Rounds who police say was squatting in a trailer on land where deputies found the missing teen's boots and grain truck. His past criminal history includes malicious wounding, malicious shooting, and three prior convictions for being a felon in possession of a firearm, court records show. The defendant has no work history and is currently unemployed and has no verifiable residence, court documents state. The defendant was trespassing and squatting on property. As part of their search for rounds, investigators served several search warrants. Two of them led to federal cases against men who had interacted with rounds before his disappearance, Brenner and Chase Vinstra, 41. According to a neighbor identified in court documents as DH, at some point after rounds' disappearance, Brenner asked him to conceal three black powder guns and a 22 caliber rifle without a serial number. After being contacted by the FBI, D.H. gave the weapons to authorities. Citing past felony convictions, they charged Brenner with being a felon in possession of a firearm. Brenner pleaded guilty on May 21st and has already been sentenced to 33 months in prison for another firearm charge. The latest court documents were unsealed Wednesday. When Dylan Rounds was not located early on in the search effort, the investigation focused on the possibility of Dylan being the victim of a crime, Chief Deputy Cade Palmer, of the Box Elder County Sheriff's Office, said Thursday. The current totality of information gathered from the many interviews and searches, along with the analysis of both physical evidence and forensic data, has identified James Brenner as a suspect. An Idaho native, Round struck off on his own as a teenager to build up his own farm in Udall. Cooley told Fox News Digital last month. He had a passion for the work and spent no time playing video games or on social media like others his age, she said, and he did not use drugs. She suspected foul play almost immediately when family members lost contact with him. No criminal charges have been filed specifically regarding the Dylan Rounds case, Palmer said. This investigation is not complete and remains active. Law enforcement investigators are continuing to work to locate Dylan and find answers. Benstra, the other man charged with a federal firearms offense, was remanded without bail by U.S. Magistrate Judge Brooksy Wells. Investigators said they found two guns in his motorhome on May 12th, two weeks before Round's disappearance, while serving a warrant a homicide investigation. The weapons were identified in court documents as a Western Field Model 550 degrees shotgun with no serial number in it. 
22 caliber rifle. After listening to Venster's jailhouse phone calls, detectives served another warrant on June 12th and alleged that he asked an associate to retrieve and hide some of his belongings. They allegedly found a semi-automatic Stoger 2000 shotgun, a Remington 700 rifle with an attached scope, and a Ruger 10 to 22. The associate, identified in court documents as witness, uh, also gave police a bulletproof vest and multiple AR-15 style magazines, according to the affidavit. A further search of the home recovered yet another rifle, a Ruger M7 Hawkeye, allegedly concealed in a crawl spat. Authorities say witnesses had told them that also belonged to Venstrip. Palmer had previously issued a blunt warning to anyone who may have been involved in Round's disappearance. If somebody laying low that was involved in this or knows something, and they think they lay low long enough, we're just going to go away. That's not going to happen, he told Fox News Digital last month. We're going to keep at this until we get answers. Rounds is a white male standing 5 feet, 10 inches tall and weighing around 160 pounds. He has brown hair and brown eyes. Anyone with information on Rounds' whereabouts is asked to call the Box Elder County Sheriff's Office at 4357-343-800. His parents are offering a $100,000 reward for his return. Well, thank you for watching. Please hit the like button and share this out so James Brenner is now a suspect, not just a person of interest. Thank you.